guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. My brother is looking at me like I've gone crazy. Um, and I'm also not crying, I had to buy eye drops because I feel like I've got an eye infection and it's five o'clock in the morning. We are currently in the airport because it's our dad's 60th birthday today and he's in Spain with our mom and we're going to surprise him, basically. He has no idea we're coming out. So yeah, Manchester airport, 5 a.m. Someone just got arrested in the airport. Sam was trying to pretend he was reading a book. <laughs> he was just watching. Yeah, we're just gonna have some food and then my eyes really tired. Um, go to the gate. We're going to Spain for the weekend. So I'm gonna be in YouTube all weekend. <laughs> Some courage. Sounds really good. I'm so embarrassed. Got some strong bike. No, thank you. Wow, look at that. Let's get on the plane. I'm so excited. We were saying we actually think he has no idea. My, our dad. I keep saying my dad, like it's not Sam's dad. We think our dad has no idea. So it's either going to be like, I knew he was coming or he's going to cry with happiness. So we're on the flight. Sam's ecstatic that he gets to sit next to me on a confined airspace for a whole two hours and four to five minutes. Can you my YouTube? Nope. I'd rather die. I'm going to have a nap because I'm knackered. But we'll see you in Spain. I've just woken up after being asleep for the whole two hours. But me and Sam have rented a car. The shittest car in Spain. <laughs> Fucking crap. For grand. No, we literally rented a car because basically we ended up not booking our flights. We've known we was coming on this trip for ages. And we're having to fly back from a different airport, which is quite far away because there was no flights. So Sam so was like, I'll rent a car and then we can just drive from the airport. So we're getting the shuttle bus from the airport and then we get here and she's like gives us this car and then she was like yeah the insurance is wrong you've got to pay for this insurance apparently like when you get to obviously other countries they just like basically rob you because you they know you have to pay it when you get there but and also sam's phone isn't working it's not coming through saying it's in spain and i i'm not allowed to turn my phone on because sam has texted my dad as soon as we landed saying happy birthday um enjoy the weather it's shit here today so he thinks we're still in england um, but my dad would ring me because obviously he thinks Sam's at work so Sam was like just don't turn your phone off airplane mode so he thinks you're still asleep so it doesn't register that it doesn't ring abroad or anything so I can't turn my phone on in case he rings me and Sam hasn't got a phone that's working so that's not really great I'm meant to be finding my mum on find my iPhone and I stopped working either so yeah the plan's not going to plan but at least we're moving. Let's get this fucking shit show on the road. <laughs> not very hot either, is it, but we knew that. Right, there comes being a bit keen. Shove a minute there. Oh. Right, go. I want me to hold this. So we're having to use the maps on Sam's iPad. Wow. I'm so excited to surprise him. Oh, God. And it's a manual. Rev it out. I remember on the left side. Oh, shit. Oh, are we? Well, yeah, I've just done, <laughs> done it. Sam! I've done it as if you're going round, uh, round England. Right, we're going to go left, but obviously remember we took, we're going... What? We're going left. Well, we can't go left. Yeah, it's roundabout. Let me see the... I need to see the screen. The world's shittest. All right, so we're going left. Oh, oh. the camera nearly went out of the window. I'm confused of what side we drive on because now I'm driving I feel like this is the right side of the road but it's not no she don't I've got to be as close to central reservation as possible god this is not going well it is we've got good insurance now good insurance we've got insurance we rob it <laughs> absolute con artist <laughs> she's like if anything happens to the car Basically, it's like thousands of pounds. We was like, hmm. And then someone's like, I've got this insurance. She was like, yeah, that's not really good to work. Yeah, he's like, basically got Tonka Tonka insurance. Yeah, perfect. He was driving so He was driving for you, the bloody mole. He was both like, why are we going so slow? And 
then we were like, it feels very slow in the boat. Everyone just zoom in past us. Oh, um, and we found an English channel. So that's good. Vibes are great. Bedford's on tour. We're setting the scenes. We made it to Spain. Spain. <laughs> Espanol. So we just got to the hotel, we've just come to my room just to put the stuff and dump it. And we can see them. They sat down there. Let me try to zoom in. Oh my God, he's looking this way. Wait. Can you see them? They sat down there and obviously he has no idea that we're here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. She's just gonna dump the bags in here. Maybe we just said we're gonna put, put like at the top of like a vest on because it's actually a little bit warm. And then we're gonna go down and surprise him! It's a moment of truth. I'm gonna film it on my phone so I don't want him to like think I'm like going over a massive camera like oh. So I will obviously insert it, but I can't believe we just seen them sat there. <laughs> we got you. Right, we're gonna go. Where are you looking? Dogs. It's okay. Should we just go? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy six year the dear dad. Happy birthday to you. Hey guys, we pulled it off and he had no idea. Did you, Mum and Dad? Nope. He had a little tear, didn't you? Yep. His favourite children are here. Oh, <laughs> His only children. Oh, well, back in England. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite warm out here as well. So yeah, we pulled it off. It was definitely worth all the stress Did we vlog it all, the way here? all the way here we vlogged you out the window <laughs> we was like look at them sat there they don't know where we are <laughs> i've liked everywhere i've vlogged our breakfast sam didn't i mean you are the proper like we all we say my mum and dad are going to be on brits abroad week, soon <laughs> God, like, yeah let's walk into a beach bar to get some dinner but this is where we used to come all the time when we was younger this is like the main what is this street strip end of the strip end of the strip to the beach so just walking down here okay. haven't got changed yet happy birthday dad happy birthday thank you cheers 60 and thriving your potatoes and alioli olives Red so far. I've all got a portion. Thank you. More pixie? Um, yes, please. Yes. I've all got a portion of chili fries. <laughs> Sam's over this already. Oh, we're over it in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Just asked for an iced soya milk latte. And I got this. Iced coffee. Iced coffee. And it's an Irish coffee. And I just tasted it and it was like, is it not nice? And I was like, it tastes like alcohol. Sam was like, well, you've got an Irish coffee. What is an Irish coffee? Uh, yeah, it's got whiskey. It's disgusting. Try that, please. Well, you try it. You'll try it. You'll drink it there for breakfast. No, but it's like, it's like that chocolate stuff I used to have in olden days. That, like, you know, that, I don't even know what we call chocolate with brandy in it. It's it's getting Gran Canaria, don't you remember? I always wanted an iced coffee. Mm. Not that. Just nicer. It's warm. Warm. Want some? <laughs> oh, hi everybody. Welcome to my YouTube. We're live on YouTube. This is Mary Bedford in a natural state. <laughs> <laughs> this is Karen. Oh, welcome to YouTube, everybody. I got some sunglasses and Sam just went, all right, Jeffrey Dahmer. I went, do you like him? I've just called you a serial killer. Why would that be that like? Them? <laughs> this is what it's like being part of the Bedfords. You having a good birthday, Dad? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I just doubled my payload overnight. <laughs> Tell them where you are. I think we should book this, you know. Put in the parking lot. What is it called? Cafeteria parking. Cafeteria parking. 
in the square. The hotel's just there. This is where we came and found them earlier. Everyone thinks my mum and dad are retired alcoholics who just live here. Nobody else is. We do. I can imagine you two living out here. No, I couldn't do it. Not unless I lived in a really nice house. I love you seeing a little bit of shit out there, yeah. Went to the supermarket to get the snacks and my mum has got bleach for a hotel room. How nice is this? We haven't been on holiday together since we was like 12. We're walking around old Mercadona. Yeah. Like so many memories. That these two. In the wine aisle. I'll tell where I get it from now. I want to get a picture of it all where you just like just all stand still like Sam get in. <laughs> <laughs> Sam get in. Get in. <laughs> right, I've just had a shower and I'm balancing you on a mirror which I feel like could be a very bad idea. It's one of the ones that flicked around. So anyway, I've just opened my case and I've not packed any palettes. So I've not got my nude palette. I've not got my highlighter. So we just have to improvise. But I'm always bringing down, obviously my mum has a nude palette, so that's okay. And also I was like, randomly, I was like, eh. Can I borrow your nude palette and also can I please borrow an adapter? <laughs> it's the great thing about going on holiday with your parents, they've got everything. Everything you could ever need. So should I do a little quick makeup now? How we go out tonight? Today's been the nicest day, honestly. Like I'm absolutely knackered, don't get me wrong. However, he genuinely had no idea. Like he just didn't and it was just so nice. I feel we've really made his birthday. He's 60, I can't believe he's 60. He doesn't look 60, does he? Everyone's always like, Thank you. Oh, I've just been crying. Oh, has he? I'm on YouTube. Oh, oh has he been crying? Why have you got a big lens? I can't even tell. <laughs> just bother. Oh, yeah, did he cry? It's, it's, it's just, it's just it's, have you seen this? Have you seen this video of her when she's when when she's not when she's not singing? Because she had to do a voiceover. Like I think. Yeah, because I was literally like, Happy Birthday. <laughs> yeah. So and he went, and I went, oh, no, 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 look, look, and he's like, it, it was, and he's, what you put on it? Well, like, you have to like read the, the writing. This is literally the worst video. Blah blah blah. It was, uh, he couldn't read it. He was actually crying. You know what the funny thing is, like, with my dad, he never cries, like, ever, like, you never, ever see him crying, like, my whole life, he's, like, never cried, like, nothing like that, um, and then, like, since, like, Bentley died, all of, like, he cries now, like, tears up at everything, not, like, cries, you know what I mean, like, he tears up at everything, so I knew he was gonna cry today. We've made his holiday, all of us turning up. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but basically we're in a place called Los Alcatraz in it's near Mercia you probably don't pronounce it like that but I mean we all do and we can we've come here for years like well I say we've come here for years I've not been here in like 10 years now but we used to come like every summer like all my cousins came here like my cousins used to come out for six weeks of this like the whole summer holidays and it's just like another home to us like you know where everything is and I do genuinely think that my mum and dad will end up getting like a villa out here or something because it's just like a little Spanish town but then there's so many English who come here especially in Leeds who is being someone over like oh we're going on holiday somewhere called Los Alcatraz and like oh, we've got a villa there or everyone seems to come here but it's so tiny and like most of the people haven't heard of it so yeah that's why we're here my dad just loves it here but we all love it here to be fair but I've not been back in ages we used to come and get a villa we stayed at Iceland in this hotel a few times, but um, most of the time we used to get a villa. And it's just it's just so nice coming back. It takes me back to like when we was growing up and I feel like the first holiday for us all to come on together, again after like 10 years, it's just so nice that it's here. I just feel like we're gonna have the best few days. I feel like it's gonna be quite cold tonight. I think it's like going to be chilly on an evening. It wasn't actually too bad today though. I was quite hot in my joggers. I should have really got changed, but I couldn't be asked because I was so tired. Um, 
I'm only going to look brown. So, yeah, I think the weather's going to be better than what we thought. But just on a night, it is cold. Sorry, guys, my camera died mid getting ready up. The balancing act again. This is my outfit of the night. It is from Forth and Breckless. Super cute. But I need to run up to mum and dad's room now because they said to go and meet them there. I guess it's my pre drink of the night. So, let's go out night one with the Medfords. Ready for the night out. Mom. Sam's pretending he's not here. <laughs> and Dad. I look like a farmer with us. <laughs> it's actually not good. I think it's warmer than it was warmer this afternoon. Warmer, really. Yeah. So we're just walking to the gym to a bar now. Have a drink before our meal. Oh, Mary's old nightclub. Yeah. Oh yeah, I once went to a nightclub. The Square. I think that was my first club I went to. <laughs> Oh, it brings back so many memories being here, guys, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like childhood. I can't remember any of it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's basically a full moon tonight. Almost. <laughs> For the special man's birthday. Oh, look at all my family. I love them so much. We've gone, there's balloons. It says you're six years old. <laughs> Welcome back to Sam's YouTube channel. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. How's that apple doing it more? This is like behind the scenes. How is the thing, the stick? Wow. Behind the scenes. Whoa. Sensation. All the angles. <laughs> Harry Potter bottle of wine. It's like you're making a wish there, Dad. Make a wish for your birthday. Make a wish. And put your hand in the, the, the portion. That's going to come true now. Sammy's <laughs> so over this. Did you get Sammy? We'll steal that. We'll steal fucking Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got a couple of my candy. Well, wow, Sam, why'd you make a wish? At this point, I'd be surprised if Rocky doesn't come out with dry ice. Absolutely dry ice in me. <laughs> This one, I'll be surprised. It's broccoli to come out. Oh, we got. What was this? Did you know what these? We've got satay chicken. Mum has duck sprinkles. Mum has capri salad. Capri salad. Why don't you put headlights on? Sam would actually be wondering what this is. I'm just checking this. Wow. I'm just going to do this really fast <laughs> before Sam punches me. <laughs> Sam, I'll do your... <laughs> what is that? Chips is a sign of steak. Lobster. <laughs> Dad got salmon. Sea bass. Sea bass, I mean, sorry. My mum got special steak. And I got sea bass. That is... Wow! Wow! <laughs> Sam's over YouTube. That was gorgeous. I'm sick of me. What do you want me to do, Sam? Oh. <laughs> I'm always with you. We literally sat next to each other all day. He texted me last night saying, Mary, are we sat together? And I said, yeah, why? You thought I was praying we aren't. <laughs> I fell asleep. But yeah, that dinner was gorgeous. And my daddy's over the moon because Leeds will be in Leicester 2 1 for his 60th birthday. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. They're going to let the balloons off for Bentley. So go on. Oh, <laughs> sorry. We're gonna let the One, balloons off for Bentley. Two, three. Go on. <laughs> the perfect end to the day. 
That was so nice. He's gonna get to the lead. Final minute. Them winning. End of a Yes! <laughs> Three one. <laughs> We are leads. <laughs> but when do you do that? On together, we're going to see you win. Na 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 na. We are so proud. We shout it out loud. Like we love you, leads. 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 So, guys, I'm back in the room, taking my makeup off. I'm on FaceTime to Soph. Hello. <laughs> And I've had the best day. So who first time I done earlier actually. That was so nice of you. Was it? Yeah, that was so nice. He was like, Oh, that was so nice. I was like, I know. Um yeah. so we've had the best day. It was so good. And it just completely completed the day with Leeds winning three one. So he anyway. So happy. I do. No, he looks He's so happy. So happy. Yeah. We was walking back from the restaurant and he'd been checking his phone all night, like the Leeds score because like he's like a die-hard Leeds fan and they're playing the top of the league and then we went in a bar before and the guy supported Leicester and he was like you're a Leeds fan aren't you and I was like are you Leicester and the guy was like good luck tonight because like thinking they'd lose and then they went 1-0 up and my dad was like oh, Leicester winning 1-0 we're in the restaurant it comes through on his phone and then yeah. they scored he was like yes to equalise and then Sam went oh my god 2-1 so it was 2-1 to Leeds. And then we left the restaurant and we were walking back to the hotel and the, there's bars either side of like the promenade that have it on. And it, my brother was like, oh, look, it's on, it's finishing now. So we just went over and stopped to watch like the last minute. And they scored again. And that's when I was filming oh. it. And I was like, oh, wait. and he was like, yes. Marching on together. We're gonna see you win. Na 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 na. We are so proud. We shouted out loud. We love you, late, late, late. Yeah, that's the song. How the hell do you know that? I've grown up in a Leeds household. I don't know any football champs at all. Yeah, I know that one off by heart. So anyway, they won three one, and I feel like Leeds are normally shit. So I think it was meant to be for his birthday. And the fact he saw that goal and I caught it on camera because I was filming the ending. Yeah, that's mad. So thanks, Leeds, for winning today. You really, really made the day completed. Oh, what a lovely day you've had. The best day. That. But anyway, guys, I am going to go to bed now and speak to Zoff on the phone. So I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Second day in. Did I just zoom in then? I love a little zoom, don't I? An accidental zoom. Um... I'm gonna go down to breakfast. I've just got up, had a shower. My mum and dad are already in breakfast. I think Sam's irresponsive. He's not responding. But to be fair, Sam didn't nap on the plane yesterday. He didn't nap around the pool. Like I napped so much and I was still knackered. So I feel like he just needs to sleep. Like he was actually awake for like 20 hours yesterday. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go down to see mum and dad in breakfast. I woke up this morning, I didn't have a clue where I was. Genuinely my alarm went off and I was like, where am I? And then I remembered, I'm in Spain. I am going to try and stick to my diet today because this morning I woke up and I was like, wow, I feel awful. Like I literally didn't even fuck yesterday and ate whatever I wanted. And yeah, I felt like a balloon this morning. So I'm going to go try and get some like granola and yogurt. I don't know, it looks sunny. This is actually, oh, oh shit, how do I open this thing? Oh my God. This is actually the view here. So like that is like the main strip down there where we had food, the beach is literally just there. And then this is like the little square. The thing with this place, we we're obviously in Los Alcatraz, is this is normally absolutely rammed. Like when we come like, it's like packed, but it's not open yet. So it opens on the 1st of March. Like that's when like the building, like the, all the chairs and all the lounge and stuff on the beach. That all opened on the first match, all the bars on the front open on the first match. In summer, you can't get a table in this place. Like, you walk down that main street where we walked last night, unless you've got a booking three days in advance, you're not getting in any of the restaurants. Like, it is packed, so seeing it like this, it's like, it's so different. But then, obviously, it's just so nice because we know it. But I said we all need to come back in summer, like, as a family and do, like, a proper family holiday that we used to. Um, In the middle of summer, like, obviously, when it's boiling and, you know, this people everywhere like it's packed now i think sophie's gonna be so proud of me i've done yogurt banana 
granola and honey. I literally made it up. And I think that looks great. And then a little coffee. Bon appetit. What is that in French? In Jack Spanish? Did you only find out about Google Translate yesterday? Um, yes. No, not, not yesterday when I first got here because I wanted him to um, get some more pillows in my room so I typed it out in English and it changed it to Spanish so I could go to reception and show my phone. After 20 minutes. Disfruta tu comida. Disfruta tu comida. Disfruta tu comida. Disfruta tu comida. I think it's darn it, comida. Disfruta tu comida. Disfruta tu comida. Disfruta tu comida. Bon appetit. <laughs> Back to what I was saying, it's the best thing ever coming on holiday with your family because I seem to have just forgotten so many things. I haven't brought any socks other than long, like running socks. So I had to go to my mum's room she's giving me some socks she's got long socks but i feel like i can make these into trainer socks i'm having to get changed again because we're about to go on a walk and it is quite cold and i know i'm going to be moaning that i'm cold so i've put on this little gray unitard from skims and i've got a gray hoodie that i'm going to put on Ugh. like i could wear my flip-flop well not my flip-flops so i've got my sliders with me but i feel like they'll rub me and we're going on like a walk that's like a long ass walk, so. I don't want to get blisters. Put my hoodie on. There we go. And then trainers. Do I put like my running trainers on my on running trainers maybe? Cause I know they're comfy. Good job it's no fashion show around here. Cause I am not looking very stylish. My room's actually a bomb site. My mum said she was going to unpack from yesterday and I was like, no, you don't have to do that. And I really wish that I let her do that. Something tells me I'm not going to do these runs. I promise Sophie I would do every day. Oh, I think if I eat healthy though, and I'm doing like, yesterday I, did, I already did like 13,000 steps and we didn't even do a walk. So if I'm actually doing an hour and a half walk today, I don't need to run on top of that, do I? Staying active. Walking outfit. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. I also lost my lip balm yesterday. I know I haven't lost it, but like where I've placed it, I'm unsure. Is it in my pocket? Found it. Found it. It's in the pocket of my joggers. Lip balm. Check. Jumper, check. Sunglasses, check. Ready to go? I'll tidy up afterwards. We've made it to the National Park. Look like we're in Australia, Dad. In the bush. What is it called in Australia? The Outback. My walking, running trailers are coming in use. You go all the way through here and then you get to the airport. The airport that is the military base, not the actual airport. We used to be able to fly into this one, which was so much better because obviously it was just like a five minute drive, but you can see the airport tower in the distance. Control tower, we made it out the other end. walk out so far. Karen didn't want to go on the jetty. Why did you not go on the jetty? It's too cold. <laughs> it's too cold. It's not cold. Why have you stood under a palm tree? <laughs> <laughs> Must be hot. Karen's got the jumper off. We're just walking to a restaurant in the old town now. And we're just going to see a villa that we could hire for a family holiday. Karen's taking us on an adventure. This is nice, isn't it? Ah, oh, what is it? The town hall? This is the... Oh, this is so nice. Oh my god, yeah. 
the oldest hotel. And that's like half for us. It's like when Bridgerton days. Mummy, mummy, come on, darling. We're also on the phone, guys, because I could have asked Carrie and camera and I didn't actually know we was going to be out for so long but yeah we're at this little restaurant now on the beach the sun is blazing finally got my iced coffee no what whiskey in it today god that went down fast hey? that went down fast for Thursday yeah. <laughs> oh my god that's amazing Mm. Try it, it's really nice. <laughs> Broken glass in your eyes. Mum, do you want to try some? Half of me. Got some garlic prawns. Some bravas. Oh, Back on the camera now, I've just come and got changed because we're gonna go up and sit at the pool on the roof. Cute little outfit from Fourth and Reckless again. I'm gonna meet everyone up there. I'll have a little nap, I think. A little nap -a We've walked 20,000 steps today. 20,000 steps. I actually think it's 21 now. So, I feel like I've deserved a little lie down. So I've got outside and I said it's just gone cloudy. Hey? said so you just said it's just gone cloudy. My face is boiling. It must be made, isn't it? <laughs> it's red as a beetroot. <laughs> Sam's gone missing. My dad calls Sam Dave. Like he never calls him Sam. His name's Dave just to my dad. So if you hear my dad saying, where's Dave? It's Sam. Only because a builder friend of mine couldn't remember Sam's name and his bricklayer were called Dave, so he called him Dave, so everybody calls him Dave now. Even Martin calls him Dave. Everyone <laughs> calls him Dave. Michael calls him Dave. Where's Mum? She's in the steam room looking out a window. <laughs> <laughs> She's reading, reading the book looking out a window. It's like Nanook at North. It's like an Eskimo looking out the entrance to Igloo. Oh, my dad's the only person who sunbathes in trainers. <laughs> I can't get him off. I can't get him off. He's got blisters, so we can't take him off. Uh, you're in a bell, shorts, and trying to sunbathe him. I don't hold that much for weather this afternoon. This is what we're working with. Keep your eye on that big chimney. <laughs> He's so pretty. <laughs> My dad just said some people came up and on the roof, he said they're child cruelty. <laughs> That's our cruelty officers. <laughs> but that's forcing me to something. That's why you take after me. <laughs> after me, you're laid on roof, and Sam's gone inside in the hot tub with his mum. And we keep getting sprays of water, and it's from the pool. The pool's splashing us, it's freezing. It's wind blowing spray off the pool. Oh. Thought Sam had got a water pistol. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's favourite thing to say is if it's cast in a shadow, you get in a tan. I don't know how that applies and I'm covered head to toe. Oh, oh well. I won't tan you through your clothes, you div. Obviously. I can't take them off, I'll freeze. <laughs> They'll blow away. <laughs> you have to lay on them. Oh, sun's out now. They'll probably There's find no... us at five o'clock dithering in the garden. <laughs> Come inside, it's too cold outside. But I said, I feel like my face has caught some sun. I said, Yeah, it's I said, So does my coffee. I'm so much paler than you. I've been here a week. I don't know how you caught that much sun in this. It's a wind like burn. It's not been like this. Sam mm. and my mum were sat in the sauna, my mum's got all the gloves on. <laughs> and the dressing gown. <laughs> Sam's trying to dry off his being in the jacuzzi that he said was actually like a bath that went cold an hour and a half ago. So yeah, I'm probably just going to go to the bath. That's the bind. I do think I've caught a bit on my nose. <laughs> Much better, it does. <laughs> right, well, I came back to the room and I've been asleep for an hour and a half. I was like, I'm just going to have a little lie down an hour and a half later.
it's time to get ready for dinner. So I just had a quick shower and I feel like I'm still a bit dazed. I don't know where I'm going. I didn't expect to sleep for that long. That two, I think we've ended up, I think we've done like 21,000 steps today. In fact, let me check. 21,467 steps so far today. So that's probably where the tiredness has come from. I have caught the sun a little bit on my face as well. My nose is a little bit burnt. It must be wind burn, to be honest. I'm just gonna get ready now. I'm meeting them in 35 minutes. That's loads of time. I might put the drunk elephant drops on today, actually. I've not put them on in a while. I'm really, really low on them. Like, really. Might as well just run out a little bit soon. With my fingers, this makes you look so much more tanned. We're going back to the same restaurant where we ate last night. I think one would have been in there for like the last four nights or something. I feel like we should try somewhere different tomorrow. But my dad wanted to do it and it's his birthday, so obviously what he says goes on this trip. It's been like quite a while since I've used these drunk elephant drops. And like, I feel like the last time I used them was in summer when I was actually really tanned because they are so much darker. But who cares? I'm gonna put some of the Charlotte Tilbury on. I like wearing this instead of a foundation. Especially like when you're on holiday. It's so much better. I've really enjoyed filming this YouTube, like back with my family. Even though Sam hates me vlogging. Because I was like, oh, thank you, Loki likes it. Like he would never say it, but he definitely is on board with the with the vlogging. Even though he constantly is like, fuck's sake, Mary. We went to see a villa today which is like five minutes from here that we found on Airbnb because I really, really want us all to come out together in a few months and like bring Sam's girlfriend. I'll bring probably Sophie. But it's a really, really, really nice holiday destination. It's like 30 minutes from Mercia Airport and like an hour and a half from Alicante, if anyone knows where that is. I feel like that's more of a um, well-known one than Mercia. Yeah, it's really nice. Little old town Spanish vibes. I actually could go out tonight with no makeup on, like no one is dressed to hear or anything. I actually feel like all we have done for the last two days is laugh. Like, when I'm with my family, all we do is laugh. We've all got like the exact same sense of humour. I just feel so lucky that I have them because, you know, I'm not, no, not everyone is as lucky as I am with parents and siblings for that matter. But we just make me laugh like that. Actually my favorite people and I feel like you'll be able to see why now. They're just hilarious. Like just constantly laugh with them. I think tomorrow we're gonna go out for the day because I think it's meant to be cloudy tomorrow. But then it said that it's meant to be cloudy every day. And I mean, I know we've had a few clouds, but not like what the weather forecasted to be. Like if it's actually sunny, it's a bit windy, but. It has still been sunny, but we're gonna go over to La Manga tomorrow. Make use of our little green mobile. I really don't know how Sam drives it on this side of the road. Like, I would not be able to do that. I feel like I could probably do it on day-to-day -day roads, but the roundabouts would throw me. Like, you've actually got to go the whole other way around. Which way do you give way? Do you know what I mean? Don't feel like I've got that in the locker. Still got my mum's nude palette. I would have actually been screwed without it. What would I have done? I basically do my whole face with this one palette. Tell hey, you well, I'm doing good with this sort of camera balancing on there. So this is my outfit of the night. I've just got like a pink jumper on from Sunucci. It's actually really, really nice. And some jeans. So I'm thinking, because it's quite a high neck, I feel like I need to wear my hair up. I quite like it like this, but obviously not this messy. Either a ponytail or a bun. I mean, a ponytail could be quite cute. Since I had my extensions refitted, they're just quite painful to have in. Like, I feel like they're really tight to my hair, so it kind of hurts when I put my hair up. I'm sure I'll be okay for one night. And my hair is tied up. I'm actually gonna put these little hoops in. These are also from Sanucci. This is the outfit. I'm gonna put my trainers on and then go and meet the family. Good luck, Amelia. 
Sam wasn't ready. Hello. He was on the phone to his girlfriend. I'm also fuming like because I left my camera in the room all day to charge while I went on that walk and then I realised it's not been charging because the key wasn't in the, the room. So there's no electricity. We've got, an extra We've got a new key. So this might die, I might end up having to go on my phone, but ready for the night. Going to the oh Irish bar again, Celtic bar, and then we're going back to the same restaurant. Okay, with the drink. How come Brits always come to like an English style bar abroad? Cheers. sharing the chili beef again and duck rolls. Sam's got, what is it? <laughs> Lots of little toys, that's what Sam's got. What is it? It's um, prawns. Prawns. Spicy. And Tom's got a chili sandwich. Again, you can tip in now. I've got beef stroganoff. Sam's got a full like plate of chili beef. And Mum and Dad got the Chateau Briand. I am back in bed. We didn't go out for drinks or anything after the restaurant tonight. I mean, Karen was already on a way before we even got to the restaurant. So the dinner was amazing. It was gorgeous there. And then we just came straight back to get into bed. I think everyone was so tired as well after the walk today. So it's about 12 o'clock anyway. It's not like it's early. So we've all decided to come back to the room. I've taken my makeup off and I can't wait to sleep. A great day again. We've just... What was that noise? Sam is actually like a directly above me. I'm in 222, he's in 323. So either the next door neighbors just done a massive bang or Sam's just collapsed. Maybe I'll text him and make sure he's all right. Morning everyone. Here for another day in Spain. It doesn't look like the weather's that promising this morning. Looks a little bit cloudy. I don't know if this is just like, you know, the clouds in the morning though sometimes you get on holiday but I mean it looks pretty dark it does actually feel that cold I've put some trousers on today a little vest a little belt she's classy let's go meet the fam have some of that gorgeous breakfast again same thing I started off the day yesterday really well food didn't go too planned did it but it wasn't as bad as the day before so we're gonna try again it's really hard out here to eat healthily though everything's covered in oil like, I tried to get a burrata for lunch, I didn't do it. Like, what am I supposed to do? So, if you starve, film breakfast because it was just the same, but I've gone back and got changed. I think I'm getting changed about 100 times a day on this holiday. But my dad was like, You trying to plan on running them white trousers today? I was like, Why? It was dragging on the floor, that was way too long, so I would have actually ruined them. So, I just put on black leggings, still got my slides on. I've got a little short sleeve top on in case it does decide to get out sunny but i don't think it's going to um and yeah a little bloody jacket because it is quite cold today but on tar in the green reveal are you comfy back there my mum's trying book. to read a book to calm her nerves as sam's driving <laughs> <laughs> but we've, we've got 17 minutes till we get there and i think you're driving good sam <laughs> to La Manga, the sea on the right and the sea on the left. It's just like a thin strip out in the middle of nowhere. Is it? Yeah, I'm stuck by a Portuguese man of out there. What's it on the right? What sea is it on the right? Mediterranean. Mediterranean, what's it on the left? I don't know. I've got to go over this bridge. Look how steep this is. In a manual I've oh. driven all this way and there's fucking nothing here. It's shit. Does that have any bars or anything? Why would anyone come on holiday here? Some nice big houses though, but nothing to do. To missing the turn in 155,000 times and just doing loop to the loop to the loop of La Manga. Well, I think 
we finally got to this hotel, which my dad stayed at when he was eight. Ten. Ten. <laughs> the first hotel or something on the manga. Hotel Guadalampa or something. But we literally, Galua, but it literally just took us 30 minutes to get here and we was doing a lap over and over again. It's quite nice if it was sunny. How nice that is. That's where I got stung with that Portuguese man of war. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go any further towards sea. It's, it's, like PTSD. <laughs> it's, PTSD. it's all flooding back to me. <laughs> I run up down that beach with look like I've been whipped and it had got I've got bloody oh Spanish put vinegar on me. My dad that got beach. stung by a massive jellyfish when he was younger and Portuguese died. Man of war, not Portuguese, Portuguese man of war. You're bigger than that, Dave. <laughs> 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 we just got here. My granddad's on FaceTime and it's shut down. So all of that. I was like, can we not go in and have a coffee or something? It's freezing shut down so now back to our little green i feel so unsafe in this car it's really not nice with a mixture of not knowing where you're going and sam's driving in this green car i just want to be back in lots of gatherers and sit in a cafe <laughs> i just want to be back at lots of gatherers <laughs> i hate it here <laughs> I feel like we're in an awful documentary where people get murdered. That like we're gonna see a ghost in the window. It's not nice here, don't come to La Manga ever. <laughs> My granddad just said to oh, Sam on the phone, be careful when you go to the end, there's a humpback bridge and I got the car stuck on top of it. You didn't have enough power to get up it. <laughs> that bridge that I just filmed, my granddad got stuck on it. <laughs> So I'm about what I said when he got to Hotel Galua. <laughs> oh yeah, police brought me back to there when they found me drunk. <laughs> oh, let's go. Right, where's this place that Karen wanted to go? Back to Los Alcafles. I just said she'd rather be parking lot <laughs> I would actually rather be sat on the rooftop with Chris blowing around everywhere, freezing to death in a bikini, than be here. Why don't we go to Cartagena? So we've made it to Cartagena. There's loads of people. I'm just gonna go explore a little bit. Sam's real we're all freezing. Sam is. Sam don't have a jumper with him. Quite cute. Oh, it's a main city. We've all got green scarves on. Might like steal one off someone and eat a scarf. We happened upon a little Spanish tapas restaurant. Totally Spanish. Totally, yeah, totally Spanish. Everyone's staring at us like we've gone crazy because I'm in flip flops, Sam's in a t shirt, my dad's in shorts. We've ordered some stuff. I'm just gonna hope for the best. I'm starving as well. And I'm freezing. Oh, yeah, there's a football match on, so there's people everywhere. And it is so cold. Oh. Spain's not full when it's not sunny, is it? I'm not sure what this is. So far, olives, meat, platter. That looks nice. We absolutely demolished that dinner, all of us. It was actually really, really nice. We was like just sat there and like we were so Spanish. Someone actually looked at me and spoke Spanish to me, and I was just like, <laughs> didn't know what they were saying, but I wish I could speak Spanish. But yeah, now we're gonna head back to the car, go back. So I like because we were all freezing. Like my toes have gone blue. But I really like Cartagena, it's really beautiful. Look at all of these buildings. How beautiful is it? It reminds me of like Barcelona a little bit. Sam <laughs> just said, that's me waiting for Mary to finish her vlogging. <laughs> There's this little shop, it's a little bit like Zara to warm up while Sam finds an ice cream. And how nice is this little dress? I'm gonna get this. But no, it's a nice little bit. So, oh, you'd like these over here. Look at these. These are gorgeous. I love that. Me and my mum have both got some little bits. I'll show you what it's like when I get back at the hotel. Mum well, got a really nice dress as well. I hope we can get this in England. This is where it's from for everyone. Who cares? But this stuff is so nice. Oh my god, where have we just come to? Los Uritos. Somewhere that is near Los Alcatraz and there's flamingos in the water. Flamingos, flamingos in the water. <laughs> Wild flamingos. 
How nice! I didn't even know that they lived in Spain. Oh my god. It's scary then. So yeah, as we're back close to Los Alcatraz, the sun has come out. We're not cold anymore. We've seen wild flamingos, which is just crazy. Oh, I love it here. This is just like the next town over from Los Alcatraz. And it feels warm all of a sudden again. The sea looks nice and calm again. The manga's like, if you can see over there, that strip, it goes all the way around. But this side of the, what's it called? What was they calling it earlier, that sea? The Marmonor. This side of the Marmonor is nicer than the manga. If anyone wants to come on holiday here, just don't come in February because it's quite cold, but in summer it's gorgeous. Come out onto the jetty. Obviously there's not a soul in sight, but it's really nice. In summer, when you're on coming out here and then just jumping up and snorkeling, it's actually gorgeous. I can't believe I've just seen some flamingos. It's actually made my whole day that. They're trying to look for some fish. Oh God, it's a bit of a big gap. I'm gonna put my camera away because I feel like we're in the middle of the sea and knowing me, I'm gonna drop it. We're back. Okay, so a little interruption and explanation as to why this video has taken so long for me to get out. The night I deleted all of the footage by accident, I deleted it all and I've been trying to see if there was a way for me to get back off the SIM card, but there wasn't. Cut long story short, there wasn't. So you just have to imagine our last night in Spain. I'm so sorry. I was so annoyed that this footage went missing. Um, I feel like I need to put this in, otherwise it just doesn't make sense because I did actually film it. So anyway, yeah, that is why the video has taken so long to come out and there is no evening on this night. I'm so sorry, but it's going to cut to the morning. Morning campers, it is home time. Oh, I'm so tired. I slept so bad last night. It was fucking roasting in here. And I was like awake, like trying to figure out how on earth I turn the aircon on at like 4am. I just had the worst night's sleep ever so anyway i've just been down for some breakfast and i just need to pack up my suitcases sam just came in for my apple watch charger and he was like nice to see you kept it tidy mary I and mean, it starts with stuff over there the case it's not unpacked this never got unpacked and then piles of clothes so that's great so i just need to pack this up now i also don't know what on earth i was thinking when i packed my suitcase to come because i've got about 25 outfits that i haven't worn through the day like summer clothes and two hoodies like one pair of joggers that i came here in and i always fly on the plane in joggers i feel like it's the comfiest thing and like leggings aren't comfy to fly in they are comfy but they're not warm so i don't know what i'm gonna wear to fly home in like i've got no socks no pallets no joggers yeah i've got 25 fashion show summer outfits that i've packed that i've not worn so yeah, that's not great. Everyone's so over YouTube at this point. Dad's got his passport. <laughs> Don't fuck it. I'm almost like the ray of sunshine. It's not here. And I'm back in day one outfit because obviously I'm I don't have anything shadow, else. Though. We're not going to get brown in this. <laughs> <laughs> Making us walk again before we go home. So we're just having a little walk down to the beach before we leave. <sighs> Gotta leave in 45 minutes. <laughs> Of course, even my dad's favourite bar's open. It would be typical. It's not going to open today in the rain, though, is it? Yeah, somebody's going to slip on it and break it. I know, it's slippy, this. My shoes are slipping left, right and centre. I really want to rent one of these villas when we come down in September. But I just can't find them on Airbnb. One of them must rent. We've got to go, we've got to rent a place on the way back. If anyone knows anyone in Los Alcatraz who owns one of these villas, any chance of you asking if I can rent it off them for 10 days in September? I'd be much the appreciated. Shut up. <laughs> Last minute. <laughs> Favourite bar was shut. Sam tried knocking, but no one was obviously there. 
But we'll see it again soon. How do I get rid of that? What? It keeps coming up as a reminder that I'm flying at 20 to 2. Well, you can't get rid of it till you get on your flight. It comes up every five minutes. <laughs> we'll have a full screen of them. No, it's the same one. But yeah, I'm just going to walk up to the bar, have one final drink. One final? The first one at the end, not my last. <laughs> Me and Sam are actually flying back from a different airport from my mum and dad and I just see we're going to land in Manchester and these are two are going to be absolutely I assholes. <laughs> I wish I was flying from a different airport than you. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you actually are awful to me but you love spending time with me. You just downloaded two films <laughs> but you don't have to speak properly. When I fell asleep on the way out, it was gutted. Look, it was like, oh. Dog, dog in it and pushed you. Oh, that'll be us. I haven't pronounced on here yet. <laughs> right, so we're all packed up. Karen and Neil are here. Ready to go. Hey guys, I'm going to bring this video to a close. I hope you have enjoyed spending this gorgeous family holiday with my mad family. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.